Hello from Gardening at Duelsa here in Ireland and today we're going to repot a 32 year old monster. So this is the plant, the cheese plant or Monstera deliciosa, the delicious monster. And this plant was already full sized when my mother got gifted it in 1983. So that makes it over 32 years old. And cheese plants are really quite unfussy plants. This one has been abused for many years now, but we're going to give it a new lease of life by repotting it and moving it to this wonderful spot I now have for it. For the compost, I'm using just ordinary compost with a bit of perlite put in. And I did put a bit of uh, fish blood and bone in here as well, but I'm not sure that's completely necessary. Now cheese plants are epiphytes, so they need an open loose mixture. But um, I think as epiphytes go, they're one of the less fussy ones. So I'm going to remove this plant for the pot, from the pot and it's going to be a mis bit of a mystery as to what state the roots are going to be in. in look at that lovely sign. Flowers are our constant friends. I think that's so true. Okay, I'm going to give it a pull. I've just put it up here on the wheelbarrow so as not to make S on the lawn. And um, this plant has not been watered for a while, so it should be easy enough to get out. Not quite. Let's just take out this outer pot. Lots of roots here. Now this one, it sends out a kind of like these roots which stick to the wall so I'm constantly moving it off the wall but um, so it goes no. oh, this is hard I think oh my god I think what I'm going to have to do is get a knife and go around the edge of the between the soil and the pot or else cut the pot um, I'm going to try a knife first. So I now have a kitchen knife and I'm just going around the edge of the pot to loosen it. Now I don't know when this plant was last repotted. Let's say it's safe to say it's been in this pot for a good long time. Okay, I can't get this plant out, so I'm going to cut the pot. This is always the solution if you can't get something out. And a good sturdy secateurs is required. Terrible shame to destroy the pot, but um, well, the plant is the important thing. I'm trying my best not to damage the roots as I go. Although there's a bit of damage there, but... Okay, so I actually needed some help. Got my husband to cut this pot down to the end and um, now I can lift the plant out. Oh. Wow! Poor abused plant. <laughs> okay. Right, so just to remove the tag there, I'm going to knock off as much spent soil as I can and maybe remove some of these desiccated roots uh, before I repot this monster. This is uh, trickier than I thought and there's no way I'm going to be able to remove all of the compost but what I can do is just loosen up the roots a little bit and by actually breaking a few roots at the edge like this I'm going to stimulate the plant into making new roots and growing even more monstrous. In fact this plant is smaller than it should be for the age it is, much smaller than it should be so it's been uh, you know kept small, falsely, imprisoned in a pot much too small for it so we're going to liberate it now and um, and it should do well okay um, that's the best I can do I reckon and I'm now going to put this plant in a bigger pot and here we have here we have a bigger pot and I put some polystyrene at the base of the pot 
just to make sure it gets good drainage because as with all epiphytes they need good drainage so I'm going to um, put some compost in the base of the pot like that and I'm now going to position my plant in it let's bring the pot up here and move my plant over now the story with all epiphytes is to keep the roots that were under the soil under the soil and keep the ones that are out above above because if you bury ones that are above then um, they'll die now I can see that the plant is favoring this side for growth so I'm just going to pull it back to the back of this pot as much as I can and then backfill around the front with the compost Okay, so the plant is in the pot now and I left space at the front here because the plant is tending to grow forward like that just to give it a bit more room. Now the next thing I'm going to do is try and stake this up a bit and I bought one of these um, stakes, one of these uh, coir covered stakes which I'm going to push down to the, in the pot here a good bit. Right, that seems quite sturdy now. I may have speared a few roots on the way down, but so it goes. And I have some tree ties here, which I'm going to use to tie in this growth. Now, let's see. delicious monster all potted up and I've just moved it into the greenhouse now and um, to give it a watering now I've chosen an overcast day to do this because the Sun will burn the leaves very easily and I did actually lose a pot a uh, plant a few years ago and um, through bringing it outside to repot on a sunny day so I'm just going to give it a good water and um, just to settle the roots down in the new medium and let it drip a bit in here and then we'll move it indoors and here we are in my grow room with can you spot the delicious monster there it is over there in the corner looking very happy in its new position so thanks very much for watching this video on repotting a 32 year old monster I hope you liked it, I hope you'll subscribe and I hope you'll give me the thumbs up and all that kind of thing. Thanks very much. Bye.